Today I'm going to show you how to create a macro. Macros are really handy tools if you are working with documents or doing uh, repetitive actions in documents such as um, when you're grading papers if you're constantly reminding students that they need to refer to APA um, style book or um, if they have incomplete sentences. Um, you can create a macro that will just simply in the comments area of your document drop the information in um, so you are not constantly repeating or retyping information. So to create a macro you are going to go to the developer tab and if your developer tab isn't showing here you have to go to the office button and go to Word Options and make sure that Show Developer tab and ribbon is checked. Once that's complete, you are ready to go. Now what I usually do is I create my macros on a separate page. So for example, I am going to open up a new document and I am going to go to the Developer tab and I am going to record a macro and I'm going to name this mac macro and I'm going to type my script. Now when you're recording macros it's kind of weird because once you start recording it doesn't let you, um, the macro doesn't let you do formatting and things like you typically would do it. You have to actually do it before you type the, the sentence or um, paragraph or whatever you're putting in here. So for example if I wanted to have a bold headline I would have to put my bold headline my bold uh, headline in as I'm before I'm typing it instead of going back and reforming reformatting the te text after it's done okay and then if I want to um, write a little bit more without the bold text and I would have to go back and before I start typing the next sentence or the next formatted line I would have to do my formatting on this line. Okay, so I can go ahead and now this is my macro that I just created. When I'm done creating my macro I'm going to stop recording and then if I click this little macros button my macro will show up here on the list. Now remember I call that this is a test so here is my macro here. Okay. Now I am going to show you what happens so, so let's just pretend I want to insert my macro right here. I can go here to macros I can double click on this as a test and it automatically drops in the exact thing that I just typed up here. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little shortcut that, that might help you. Um, so you don't always have to go to the macros window. You can create a little icon up here in your quick tools bar. And when you scroll over it, it will tell you the name of the macro that you've created. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that um, from the office button. We are going to go down to word options and we are going to customize and what we are going to cut uh, what we want to customize is our quick access toolbar okay now remember I created that macro so from the command line I'm going to select macros and I am going to find my this is a test macro and I'm going to add that to the toolbar okay so that little diagram over here that thing that looks like a little flow chart that is the icon for a macro but I am going to change this icon by clicking the modify button and I'm going to change it to something that might resemble or, or um, give me an idea as to what that macro might be about. So just for example I'm going to do this little notebook. So now my macro, um, my this is a test macro has a little notebook icon and then I'm going to say OK and immediately my macro pops up here in my quick access toolbar. OK so now I am going to uh, get rid of that that macro page that I just typed and now let's pretend we are back in the actual document. So here's the document and you're looking through the document and let's say that you wanted to comment on this on this student's paper. 
Okay, so I am going to go to review and I'm going to add a comment. And in this comment, I want to say, you know, make sure that you are watching for incomplete sentences. So remember I created that macro. I put it on my quick access toolbar. When I scroll over it, I see my that this macro is this is a test. And when I click on that, it drops that information into the document. So you're not constantly rewriting or copying and pasting from an from another document to get the information out to a student.